Good morning. Woo. All right, guys. This is my camp <laughs> on my boat in this nice bay, man. It is 6.20 a.m. So we're camping, we're camping out here. We've got heaps of gear. We've got heaps of fishing gear, dive gear, spear fishing gear, all sorts of stuff. And we're gonna be out here for ages. We're just gonna be cruising around living off the ocean. So this is the first morning. Brand new series, guys. Welcome to this new series. We're targeting monster fish, catching our food, cooking it up. This is gonna be a good series. I'm so stoked to be filming this. Day number one. And look at the morning. Yeah, first coffee. She's boiling. It's very hot. I don't know if I want to put it on this because it's going to mark it. Stay there. Oh. How's that for a morning coffee, man? I fully just touched a propeller just then. Oh shit, that is not good. Oh, right, can you see that? Probably can't see that. Right on the end of my finger, you can see my fingernail. That was white, I just clipped the propeller with my freaking fingernail. That could have gone bad real fast. All right, I'm gonna finish my coffee, pack up camp, and then we're going to find a monster fish. I've just seen a fish. Man, I was just sipping my coffee. Contemplating putting my tent away. I saw this huge eruption over here, right in the shallows, like probably waist deep water, knee deep water even. There's heaps of little bait fish hanging in there, so the predators will be cruising those, that shoreline. If they chase bait again while I'm finishing my coffee, we're on. Big bust up over there, you can see the foam right in that little cave. That was just fish getting smashed on the surface. They're moving this way, so. Very exciting, fish on the prowl. We should almost put the electric in and just cruise this edge. Casting the ultralight setup with the little molossies on there. That could be a bit of fun. All right, on our way to the fishing ledge, we're gonna cast this little micro molossy, little bibbed minnow. Pretty excited, I'm gonna put the electric over and just cruise along, stealth along this edge casting. See what we can find. There's still fish smashing bait fish all through here, so we could be on. We might as well fish it on our way there. Oh, red pigfish chasing it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, cooked it with the boat. We might get another shot at him. Okay, I've cast it right over him, bringing it past him. Can you see him down there? I reckon I've spooked him with the boat. Nah, we'll keep going. Oh, how nice is that, man? 
Look how nice and clear that is. Oh, yep. See that? Yep, got him. Oh. Quite a big snapper just come up on that, man. Let's cast again. I saw him come right up on it. That was sick. Here it comes again, here it comes again. Oh, it's a different one. Yep, got him. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Different one, smaller one. It's a different one. Definitely, oh, I dropped him. No. Oh, I got it. That was, that was a good fish. That wasn't as big as the first one though. Oh, this is a super nice zone. Black angel fish down there. Man, gutted I lost that fish. How's that? Right up in that little cove. Oh, something tailing right there. Look at that. See that? Look at that. Let's get over there. What is that? Oh! Oh my gosh! Did you see that? Dude, that might have been a big snapper. Oh, there he is. Yeah, it's a big snapper. He's just down in here. Come on. No. Dude, that was a big snapper just tailing in that gut trying to eat something. Oh, yeah, he's chasing it. See that? See that? He's right there. He's right there. That would have been a heck of a fish to catch on this setup. Well, I've just changed lures. I've put the slightly bigger little molossi on there. Slightly bigger than the last one, different colour, because they had a few fish turn away from that last one. So, see if this makes a difference. I've also put a shirt on because it's getting freaking burny out here now. But yes, yeah, still amazing. Like, look at all this. While I was tying up, there was some fish busting up over here. So we're going to cruise up there and cast into those shadows. Oh, yep. Yeah, baby. Good fish too, I think. Oh, yeah, boy. First cast, man. First cast with the new lure. Dude, this is a good fish, man. I'm stoked with this fish. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Very light line, very light leader. Yes! That is fun, man. Oh yeah, boy! <laughs> oh, big car boy. Yeah. And we're gonna try and float him up onto the back here. Yes, look at that. Real nice kawaii guys, look at that. First freaking cast on the new lure. Stoked. We'll get him back in the water. Stoked man, that's epic. First cast. Pulled up the electric. I think it's time to go find some big fish. Let's go.
Ooh. This is kind of where I want to go. I want to sort of fish this point here. Okay. I don't think I don't think the land anchor is going to grab up there, so I'm not going to put any pressure on it. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly get some gears ready and then we're going to get in the water and we're going to swim across, set that land anchor really nicely and start getting ready man because we're going to have a really good tide about to hit this ledge and we're going to fish this nice deep drop off right here. Amping on this man, this is going to be sick, I've never fished this ledge right here. Alright, let's go. Ooh. Swim across. See you, Stabie. You stay right there, bro. <laughs> oh man, pretty steep where the rope is. I think I'm gonna have to get up just in front of us here. Okay, next wave. Next wave, we're going right up there. Oh, that'll do. That worked. Super slippery. The seaweedy kind of stuff. Yeah. First of all, sort this rope out. Oh, that water's so nice. Man, it's nice. Maybe there actually. Yep. Perfect. That'll do. Look at this out here. Look at this out here. I think I just saw a big kingfish smash something. Oh look. Oh we need to get set up. Yeah, look at it, look at it. It's coming in this way. Oh what is that? Oh, whatever it is, it's chasing it right in. Yeah, it's kingfish chasing bait. Look at that. Epic! Who goes in there, look. That is a good sign. We've got kingies here. Let's get set up. So you can see there's a bit of current upwelling right in front of us. That's the start of the tide hitting this ledge. And we've just seen that kingfish hit. I'm about to put the rod, the reel, and the lures together. I'll show you what lure we're going to run first. But you see the boat parked just nicely just over here. Such a sick day, man. Look how nice this is. Alright, that's the lure I'm going to run. It's a big boy lure, 175 mil. That should be an interesting lure to throw here. I'll give this a try first for a little bit and we'll see what happens. Otherwise, I've got another couple of really cool lures to throw as well. Let's see which one gets a bite today, man. Alright, have we got a rock pool? Real nice rock pool down there. I'll be able to put the fish in there for some photos. Alright, let's cast. Saltiga 18,000. Saltiga C85-8 rod. I swam three lures across here. So today we will see out of all three lures, and they're all very good lures, we're gonna see which one catches the most big fish, but we're gonna start off with this big boy lures. All right, first cast. Rod needs a straighten. Imagine getting one on the first cast, that'd be sick. We're fully gonna see the fish below us if they follow the lure in. Could be pretty exciting. Oh yep, something on it. See that? Come back, come back, where are you? Oh, Kingy, right here. See that? Come on, come on. Come on, where are you? See if we can bring him back up again. He'll be here. Just got to get him to see the lure again. There's heaps of fish below me. Just all perora and stuff. Oh yeah, here you go. Yeah, got him. Oh, oh man, did you see that? 
He fully, fully bit it. I don't think he's going to come back for another go. Unless he didn't get hooked, but I'm sure he felt that. I shouldn't say unless he didn't get hooked. I mean, unless he didn't feel the hook. Because of course he didn't get hooked. Oh no, that could have been our shot. I'd say that was our shot, man. Bugger. That was a cool hit. He flew up on the lure. Oh, gutted. Looked like a nice fish too. Nah, he's gone. Oh, look at that. Oh, heaps of them. Look at them all. Oh, I got one. Damn it. Non target species. Oh, yeah, you let go. Heaps and heaps of kawaii. That's awesome to see. <laughs> it's pretty funny when you you don't want to. Oh, they're on it again. I tried to cast them behind to see if there's any kings with them. I'm after the big ones that eat those. But very cool to see them there because the fact that the kawaii are here mean that the big predators should be here too. Oh, they're on it again. Look at them all. Wow. Got him. Oh no, the one that the one that hit first was huge man. This one's not as big. Still good fish though. Oh. Yeah baby. Look at them. Look at them. Oh my gosh, look at them. Look at the kingies, look at them all. Oh there's some freaking huge ones in there. Oh. Oh crap! Oh man! Yeah baby! Get out of there! Get out of there! There was some monsters! The first one that hit the lure was huge! Oh. But we got one boys! Yeah baby! Alright we might try to land them! Oh crap, come back up. Yeah baby, stoked. That's a good fish. Oh, far out. That smashed me. <laughs> okay, bring him in here. Still a nice fish. Okay. Yeah, yeah boy. Still a good fish, dude! Stoked! Oh, that was epic! There was heaps of fish, man! This is a much bigger one than that one that hit the lure when we first got here. I'm going to put them down in here, but I'm going to take the lure out just in case a wave comes up and washes them. I don't want them taken off with the rod, so you can stay in there, bro. Okay, we'll be quick about this. Let's be quick. Okay. Is he gone? No. Oh, there he goes. Oh well. I thought that might happen. There he goes. Now rock pool here is starting to go under. Oh, well, we're going to get casting again. It's just an excuse to get back in the water quickly. <laughs> Didn't get a photo with him, but oh well. A bit hard when you're by yourself trying to organise everything. I might have a look for another rock pool before we cast, just in case there's a higher up one. Because yeah, that guy's going under real fast. Nah, unfortunately, that's our only option. So we're just going to have to do what we can do, I guess. Either way, I'm going to get casting again. I'll leave those cameras a bit closer this time. Last I checked, that rock pool was well out of the tide. But now it's starting to go under. 
One fish for the big boy Lewis. We'll give it a bit longer, then I might change Lewis and see what happens. Okay, let's go. All right, let's go back to our little spot here and get Carson. That was epic, man. Fire out, the fish that came in first was massive. The one that broke the water first, absolutely huge, man. That fish we landed was probably a meter long. But that one that came in first was an absolute tank. And there were some big fish swimming behind that fish as we were fighting it. So let's hope we can get another chance at one of those real big ones. <laughs> but we can't lose the next one. <laughs> What the heck? Oh, what the? Oh my gosh! Okay. Oh my gosh, this fish is gonna freaking deal to me. That was absolutely insane. That was absolutely insane. Oh, he's still there. Crap. Yes. We got him out. Oh no, get away from the edge. You... Come on, come up. Oh. Pretty dangerous standing where I'm standing, but this fish freaking is putting the pressure on me. Oh. Oh. It is so deep right in front of me. He's straight down. Come up. Oh, I got colour. No, don't go around there. Oh, there he is. Oh, there's a leader. Get him up. Oh, crap. It's not over yet though. Oh my gosh. That was probably the most gnarly fight I've had all season. Oh my gosh. Hang in there, bro. Okay. Hang on, bro. I got you. Okay, we got him. Let's go to the pool. Dude, that was insane. I can't believe that, man. That was absolutely insane. Oh, oh shit. Oh, crap. Have to check. Check my gear after that fall. I need a breather. Okay, I might actually leave the hook in this one. Put the rod somewhere where it's not going to run away on me. Far out guys, out of all the fish I've caught this season, this guy put up the most intense scrap of the lot of them man. <laughs> I cannot believe that, that was nuts. Same size as the one that got washed out of the rock pool 10 minutes ago, yep, but this one on. went absolutely <laughs> ballistic. That was incredible how hard he what went. What the heck? Stoked oh. ass, it's a nice fish. On the big boy lures, the fishing is on right now we're gonna quickly water release this guy and then get back Carson straight away man Woo yeah boy guys look at this look what that fish did to the hook look at this look how bent that is look at that man that's nuts not meant to look like that have to change that hook out well i might try the other lure one of the other lures i'm just gonna check my line and my leader because i definitely know there's gonna be a lot of damage on it 
that honestly that would be the hardest fight I've had all season. I've caught a lot of fish this season. A lot of monsters as well. He just put the afterburners on instantly, nearly freaking pulled me in here twice. And he went around that corner. That was nuts, that was insane. I'm actually surprised that I didn't end up going in or we didn't lose that fish because that was nuts. Starting to get pretty hungry and I think it is about time we go and find something else to do. So I don't know if this is the end of the episode, but if it is, thanks for watching. But yeah, we'll see you guys on the next one.